Um, so hello, uh, my name is Andrew uh, and I would like to tell you a little story about uh, my hurdles with HTML5 game development. Um, do we have any game developers here? Okay, nice. Okay, so maybe you will feel the same. Um, so um, I will tell you a story about uh, how to make a very simple HTML5 game uh, in four years. Um, so it started in 2012. I met a guy named Robert who is a graphic designer and uh, I'm a programmer. Uh, so we teamed up and decided to uh, create a game, which should be quite easy but also quite enter entertaining. Um, but the approach we had was that, uh, well, it, it is the approach that many people uh, do when they start with the first game, uh, which is a problem and it's called uh, trying to create MMORPG uh, because you don't know your skills so you want to make the project as big as possible. Uh, it obviously wasn't an actual, uh, actual MMORPG but it was a um, quite complicated puzzle game and it took a lot of time working on that plus the problem was uh, I was trying to be perfect. I wanted to co the code to be perfect uh, so I was rewriting the game a few times from scratch using pure JavaScript, jQuery, uh, some uh, game development frameworks and um, at some point I decided that it just won't work. I have to create something, anything that will work. Uh, so I dropped the project and started building very basic, very simple game where you just, you just fly with a ship and avoid asteroids. And, I threw everything away, uh, even like bonuses or something, and when I had the core gameplay working, I finished the game, uh, and surprisingly uh, the game was playable, I could share it. For the next 12 months I was going to conferences and talking how easy it is to make games. Um, so the, the thing is, um, it's important to um, start simple, um, work on the project uh, from the ground up and have uh, safe points um, so you um, every single time uh, you stop doing something, some, adding some features, uh, you have a safe point where everything works uh, so you're ready to release the project at every single step. Uh, so you want been a problem of working on MMORPG where something will take like half a year to create something like a module which work which will won't work anyway because the the game is not working. So after like spending two years in the basement you actually can't show anything and you can say well I'm working on this game but I can't show you anything. Uh, and with the approach of building very small games um, you can actually have the whole process of building a game uh, from the very beginning of the idea to uh, coding the game, uh, promoting it, uh, releasing to the public and um, you can iterate on that, uh, repeat all the stuff uh, and it's very easy to add uh, small features to the games uh, so every next small game is a little bit better, it's, it's a little bit more complicated uh, so with that in mind and making like I think eight, eight very small games, I started working on that project again and um, it wasn't like four years of constant development but after starting the project uh, and after four years the game was actually finished um, and the, uh, I'm still seeing the source code that is so ugly that I won't share it. Uh, and there are so many features that I cut from the original version and throw away. Um, but eventually it was a game that was completed, released. There was a bunch of bugs but people were so excited about the game that they were like, okay, so you could improve on this and on that. And I actually listened to that. Uh, so eventually um, it was kind of a of success uh, for me. and. Um, I can like move on, I don't have to remember this huge project, I can carry on and learn more and more about uh, games that I can create. And that's it.
Four fifty-seven. I, I, I yeah. my timer. <laughs> <laughs>